I want to talk about our G2 Moto Hand Shield. If for guys that uh, want a little hand protection but don't want to use full wrap around hand guards, this is our Moto Hand Shield. And what it does, it has the ability to be ran in the upper or the lower, the over or the under position, depending on how you run your levers. And uh, no matter in the under or over, the plastic is always uh, in the center line. It has a uh, Teflon bushing so that in the event of a hard crash, it has the ability to swivel. The first thing we want to do is we want to loosen up the brake so that it's out of our way. The next thing that we do, we take the plastic bushing and what this does is in the event of a hard crash, it gives the Moto hand shield the ability to rotate on the handlebar. The next thing you need to decide if you're under or over and we're going to go with this in the under position. We then take our cap and just start the bolts. And we'll take the wrench and we'll start to snug things up a little bit. Now where this goes, it goes up against the throttle housing. And the reason for this is you want it to where it's more outward. On the throttle side, it takes more space because the throttle housing is there. Now when you're tightening these bolts, there's a line there between too tight and not tight enough that'll have to be something that uh, you gauge upon yourself the tighter they are the less movement it will be but on the other hand the less ability it has to do of moving in the event of a hard crash as soon as we uh, get our moto hand shield in place the next thing we want to do is move our brake back to where we uh, want it positioned and once we have it there we'll just tighten it back up